Royal Enfield is doing this one thing and one thing well, and that's they're building motorcycles that people want, not the motorcycles they're telling people to buy. Welcome to MCC Just Motos. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Andy from MCC Just Motos. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, Royal Enfield is about to launch the Hunter 350 motorcycle in the United States. They're doing a launch right now, and I think it comes out tomorrow. Here's the bottom line. Here's the thing you need to know. This bike's going to be sold in the United States for $3,999 to start, up to $4,199. Wow is all I, all I got to say. Wow, wow, wow. It is a very, very capable motorcycle. I can't wait to drive it. I haven't driven it, but I have ridden the 350cc motorcycles. I have one right now. I have a Meteor 350. But but the capability sets, the, the weight, the specifications on this bike for $3,999 is, is really hitting, hitting, hitting the price point that Americans want right now, that the consumers want. Royal Enfield is doing this one thing and one thing well, and that's they're building motorcycles that people want, not the motorcycles they're telling people to buy. Yeah, it has about 20 horsepower, 20 torque. The, the, the looks of it, I think, are pretty cool. It kind of has a throwback 70s uh, CL 350 Honda vibe, something like that, but it's really cool. Harley's coming out with a couple smaller bikes. They have the what the X350, which is their um, based off the Benelli 302 kind of motorcycle, but they're also coming out with a 400cc cruiser style. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to price match the uh, the Royal Enfield. Let me tell you some of the cool things. I want to talk about riding the Hunter 350 again. I haven't ridden it, but I can tell you about the motor and what I'm excited to try because it's lighter weight. I I think. That's going to be a great entry-level bike. It's a really cool look to it, and that motor is really torquey off the bat. Um, it's not going to, you know, win any stoplight races, but people at that price point, I don't think they're looking to win stoplight races. Not a lot of them. I mean, sure, some are, but, you know, I think they're looking for a cool, sporty, fun-to-ride motorcycle, and it has all the hallmarks of that. So I think that will be a good selling point. And just the style of it, the price is going to draw people in like crazy. And when they get drawn in, you know, they may not decide that that bike's for them, but there's a whole slew of other bikes around that price point, a Cruiser when you're Meteor, the Classic 350, which is the classic style. And if they want to go higher, I think Royal Enfield is, is really killing it from soup to nuts. Will it compete with other motorcycles out there? I don't see it. I think the Rebel 300, 500 do not have the same look at all. I don't think they look as cool. Um, they're more cruiser-ish. Um, so I don't think, I, I don't know what else can compete with it. Maybe a Suzuki TU 250X or something like that, if they even still make them. But the, the Meteor, I think, is priced below that. Uh, I'm sorry, the but I think the... But I think the uh, Hunter 350 is even priced below that. So you really, for an entry-level bike that does more than entry-level stuff, it's like a one-on-one motorcycle. With the Harley 400 motorcycle coming out, if they could get to that 499 price tag, wow, that would be a, a really interesting comparison. My guess is that will probably start around 6000 bucks, $2,000 more. But that's just going to be me. Um, the looks, sure. Uh, it could be a little bit of polarizing, but I think it's pretty standard looking and it's a standard motorcycle. So let's take a look at the website and just see some of the colors that they have and th that kind of thing. Okay, so right now the Royal Enfield uh, Hunter 350 webpage is active, but it's not public. Um, so I think it goes public tomorrow, but this is the actual webpage. Uh, your shot of motorcycling, you just kind of scroll down, it brings you into it. That's kind of cool, right? So, you gotta scroll in, see some of the colors. They talk about the motorcycle, a shot of style, a shot of torque, a shot of fun. It's a little wonky of a website. Uh, uh, I hope it gets a little smoother. But you can see, you know, they got some videos. It's kind of fun. And uh, just really what I want to get to is, you know, they talk about the new, the new frame what's underneath it, what it has, the dual disc, disc brakes up front, or the disc brake up front, uh, the, the torquey motor. 
Oh, that's good. A lot of the same components as uh, the other 350s, but here is where I want to show. $39.99, Dapper White. What else they got? They have the Dapper Ash, which has this green accent here. You can hear my dog in the background. I like this color the best. That's a Dapper Gray. I think it looks really sharp with this black uh, side cover. And here's the ones that go for a little bit more. The Rebel Black, the Rebel Blue, and the Rebel Red. Um, those ones are kind of neat as well too. They just have a, they just have a, a little pop of, of Royal Enfield on them. But I think this was the one I'd get, the Dapper Gray. Um, and then obviously you can get connected to the dealer. So this website, what color do you like best? Obviously uh, they have, you can see the little bit of a pop on the wheel. I think that looks pretty sharp. And they have that same color pop when you get to those uh, different uh, Rebel models. Um, yeah, I just don't think anything can, can match up to it right now. All right, guys, I'm going to go for a ride. I'm going to use this to, to motivate me to go for a ride. What do you think? 100350 versus the herd versus the world. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode.